Now, we're going to Tanzania, and we'll be speaking to a broadcast journalist, Bernard James. Uh, from what we know, Tanzania has recorded 46 cases with three deaths and seven recoveries. And we're also hearing that two journalists have lost their lives to the pandemic. And so we'll be speaking to him. Thank you so much for joining us, and good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, and I hope you're well. Yeah, we are doing fine in Tanzania. All right. Now, the first time that Tanzania recorded a case was on the 16th of March. Tell me, or give me yes. details on that and how, you know, the, the citizens in Tanzania managed the situation. Uh, since uh, the case was reported in Tanzania, uh, the ministry uh, tried as it's best to uh, try to give some of the precautions to the citizens of Tanzania. Uh, I think you know the uh, procedures to do when you know when you get some of the symptoms of the disease. Uh, for instance, uh, social distance, uh, washing hands, mm. and so forth, and the, as as well as you know uh, avoiding uh, gatherings. So since broadcasted in Tanzania, uh, as I can see, people. Uh, trying to do what the ministry uh, tells them to do. Okay. Now, I, I read an article where another journalist said that even before a case was recorded and confirmed in Tanzania, there were some people who were wearing face masks, and they had people laughing at them and mocking them. And there were some jargons that were being passed around about coronavirus. So does that mean that people really didn't believe that it would come to Tanzania or they didn't understand? Uh, that's James, by the way. Okay, he's on the line. Or they didn't understand the severity of the case until the country started recording more cases. James, can you hear me? Bernard? Uh, Bernard, can you hear me? Hello, Bernard. Yeah. Can you yeah, hear me? I can hear you, and maybe you can repeat the question. Okay, what I'm saying yeah, is I that I read an article from another journalist who said that even before you, record, you record, uh, recorded cases in your country, there were just a few people who were wearing face masks and adhering to some of the social distancing directives. But majority of the people mocked them and laughed at them and made fun about coronavirus. Is that true? And was it after you started recording cases that people really started seeing the severity of the issue? Okay, looks like we're having a bit of a challenge with Bernard James. He's a journalist. Okay, Bernard, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear All right, can you please go ahead and answer my question? Did you get me? Yeah, I got you. Okay. Uh, before the case was reported in Tanzania by the ministry, uh, as you said, people thought that maybe the disease was uh, basically, uh, based in China, as well as some of the European countries, America and so forth. So when it was uh, broadcasted in Tanzania, uh, people, as you said before, people are, you know, taking some jokes, you know, reporting some of the issues. They are taking them for granted, mm. not being serious. But, you know, since uh, it was uh, reported in Tanzania uh, and uh, another case is for, uh, came, 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 came next year, fair people uh, started uh, taking some of the measures mm. as uh, they reported the means of health. Okay. Now, what about the journalists? Uh, you were giving us an update on some two journalists who lost their lives after getting infected from coronavirus. Give me more details on that. How did they even contract the virus? Do you know? Uh, it is not well reported uh, how they contacted the disease, but uh, the ministry reported, and it, you know, before the ministry said it, uh, a lot of people had some a few information about this. So they started uh, sharing, posting on social media, you know, normal text messages. Uh, then the information came. Uh, when it came, then, uh, but currently, there is no uh, uh, crucial information. I can say that the concrete information, how they contacted the disease. Okay. Some say that it's due to the nature of, you know, our job, reporting here mm. and there, getting out, uh, interviewing some sources here and there. So uh, people still think that maybe that is the cause of the uh, disease to them, uh, mm -hmm. but the ministry has not really reported uh, how they contacted the disease. These two journalists from the uh, Tanzania uh, Broadcasting Corporation, TBC. Is, is Tanzania under lockdown? And if you are, how long has it taken and how long will it take for them to um, reverse it? 
No, we are not under the lockdown. Uh, the president said that, you know, though uh, some cases have been reported in Tanzania, uh, but people still need to, you know, to experience their normal life. Mm. Here in Tanzania, it is quite different from some of the developing countries. Uh, you cannot compare Tanzania to China, to mm -hmm. uh, Britain, to USA and so forth. Here, the nature of uh, jobs for people, you can see some of the people are vendors, you know, uh, sometimes they do some small businesses here and there. Okay. So if you lock the country, uh, people are saying that maybe this is going to be the catastrophe in Tanzania compared to the disease itself. It's so the president said that, you know, apart from the disease being in Tanzania, so mm -hmm. normal life should uh, continue. You're saying that majority of people in Tanzania are working in the informal sector. Yeah. And so that's probably the reason mm. the president has not locked down yet. But what about the lives sure. of the people involved? Because if it's spreading, you have 46 mm. now. Ghana was also handling two-digit numbers uh, just a few weeks ago. And now here we are, almost at 600. Don't you think that a lockdown at this point is necessary just to curb further spread? We are not 46. We are more than 50 right now in Tanzania, the population. Okay. Uh, but as, we said, as you said, no, we rely much on what is said by the government, you know, and the center of information here in Tanzania. We are told that, you know, the people to report about the issues, the prime minister or the president himself, or the people from the ministry, uh, mm. Umi Mwalim and the Faustin Dogurilo were the ministers in the ministry. So okay. uh, as a journalist, I could say that maybe I rely on the information given by the president, that okay. uh, given to the nature of uh, the living mm. uh, life of in Tanzania. All right. Uh, if you do that, then, uh, it's going to be much worse, you know, compared to the situation itself. Yeah. The government still goes on, you know, giving some people how to take caution, okay. how to do their normal life and so forth. Okay. All right. Thank you so much for speaking to us, Bernard James. Uh, he's a broadcast journalist from Tanzania. And he's indicating that the cases have now shot up. So there are more than 46. They are actually above 50 now in Tanzania.